Just look at this article today in The Independent. Taxpayers face a 500 million bill for RBS LIBOR fraud. No, 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 no. No more money to the banks. No, no, no. If we're ever going to recover from this stupid bank-driven austerity drive, we are going to have to pull ourselves out of austerity and we're going to have to let these banks fail. Why are we continually throwing good money after bad? The people who rig the LIBOR rates are crooks and should be arrested and have the key thrown away. But instead, the people responsible may only get a massive bonus this year rather than an extremely massive bonus. No, 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 no! If I committed fraud that caused the taxpayer to have to pay half a billion pounds in fines, I think I'd be heading for the slammer, don't you? You see, the real issue is this. It's not just RBS or Lloyds that are bankrupt. The whole banking system is bankrupt. They've signed the government onto the bank's bad debt, and this half a billion pound is further proof of that fact. Our government is not there for the people. The government is a puppet of the Rothschilds, and the government exists to do the Rothschilds' bidding. And that means enslaving the population in a mountain of debt that we can never pay back. Austerity is here for good unless we grow up and start realising just what is happening right in front of our bloody eyes. We have the power, not the banks, not the government, but you and I. We can change this situation almost overnight if, if we really want to, but we're too comfortable to actually do anything, aren't we, eh? What's your line in the sand? when it's compulsory bank charges for every bank account to pay the bankers gambling debts? When your taxes go up by 20% to pay the bankers gambling debts? Is it when they come to take your firstborn child to pay the bankers gambling debts? Is there nothing we won't put up with? Honestly, we are such a bunch of spineless muppets.